very used to swimming in the cold weather. But when they jump out of that water, they prefer weather temperatures of over 60 degrees. African penguins can handle temperatures of well over 100 degrees, even you know, upwards of 120 before they'll actually get um, a little too hot or overheated. We actually do penguin encounters here every single day in the Newport Aquarium. The last one of the day was at 3 o'clock, so we're all done for the day. But if you're at all interested, you can always come back and purchase tickets for a penguin encounter. A biologist will take you behind the scenes into the African penguin's habitat, where you get to pet the penguins, get to know them a little bit better, and get to know a little bit more about the plight of the African penguin. Um, there is some great news about participating in penguin encounters and these African penguin, uh, penguins being here at the aquarium. And the main reason is they don't are critically endangered species. Uh, at the turn of the, uh, the, 19, or the early 1900s, the turn of the century into the early 1900s, there were as many as 2 million African penguins in the wild. Uh, about 10 years ago, that number was reduced all the way to 100,000. In the past 10 years, that number has dwindled all the way down to 40,000. It's estimated only 40,000 African species, African penguin species still alive in the wild. Um, they are making a comeback in controlled environments and zoos and aquariums across the globe. So if you're interested in participating in the Penguin Encounter, half the proceeds of your ticket do go to an organization known as SANCOB. It's an international organization based out of South Africa where their primary goal in life is to conserve, preserve, and save the African penguin. They'll rescue penguins from oil spills, rehabilitate them, and re-release them back into the wild. So half the proceeds of your ticket will go to that organization. So by purchasing a ticket for a penguin encounter, you yourself become a penguin conservationist, whether you like it or not. And another opportunity, I'd love to share this video with you guys. Um, our African penguins are artists. They love to paint. This is a form of enrichment for them. I'm going to show you a little video of our adorable penguins painting. That's Simon, one of our top artists. She's the one who holds the record for pooping four times in ten minutes and eating 42 fish in a day. But you see, we'll put, we'll put the penguin in a little bit of the paint there, let them walk across the canvases. And we will customize the canvas as well if you'd like, if you have a favorite sports team, your school, if you want some, uh, some specific colors, you can actually contact us through the, the Wave Foundation's website, wavefoundation.org, and they can customize a penguin painting for you. Uh, if you don't want to customize one, we do have some on sale up in our gift shop today. And again, as I mentioned, half the proceeds of the penguin, I'm sorry, the entire proceeds of your penguin painting purchase will go to organizations like Sam Cobb and other uh, penguin, uh, penguin institutions across the globe, where they'll look after taking care of these penguins and hopefully to replenish, repopulate their numbers out in the wild so that future generations can always enjoy and admire these beautiful animals. For listening to me ramble on about penguins for the last 30 minutes. At this time, I'd love to take any questions. Do we have any questions about our penguins? No? Oh, one over here. Yes, ma'am. He's being lazy. That is what he's doing. Uh, that's a good question. I'm actually. It looks like he's hugging his buddy, huh? They, they actually will have two different ways of sleeping, just like that, where they'll lay on their belly, similar to that, like a puppy dog. They'll also sleep standing up, and they'll tuck their heads. Have you ever seen chickens sleep, where the chickens will tuck their heads under their wings? Penguins kind of do it a little differently. They'll tuck their heads back behind their shoulder, kind of bury it into the crease of their, their body and their wing, and hide their heads. Great question. I'll see if I can get a little bit more information. Yes, sir, in the black shirt. The gray shirt. So why would they move? <laughs> you know, they were actually fed about an hour ago, so chances are they're probably just uh, they're probably just digesting their fish. 
But that being said, when penguins are on land, they're not usually that active. Out in the wild, they'll spend half of their life at sea. Every single meal that they eat will be held, uh, be had at sea. So they'll spend all of this energy burning, uh, burning off this energy swimming through the waters. And once they get up on land, usually that's kind of their time to relax, chill out, take a little bit of a break. Yes, ma'am, in the purple sleeves. Oh, actually, they'll take their baths right in the water, and you'll see it sometimes, they'll jump in the water, and they'll kind of splash some water up on their backs and on their wings to take care of themselves. They'll also uh, preen each other. You know, like a monkey, you ever seen a monkey? Eating, you know, eating bugs off another monkey's head. Penguins will do that as well. You'll see them preening each other quite a bit, where one penguin will start preening the other penguin with its beak, and oftentimes that other penguin will return the favor. Kind of like, you know, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Penguins say that too, like, I'll preen you if you preen me. So they're always looking after each other, taking care of one another. Yes, sir.